Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at how we work out averages from a table. Just a quick one, in this video we're only going to be looking at the mean, mode and range. I've done another video on how to find the median from a table, so check out that one if that's what you're after. I had to do a separate video for that because it's uh, slightly trickier. So in this one, just again, we're only going to be looking at the mean, mode and range. If you need the median from a table, have a look at my other video. Okay, let's get cracking with this then. So here I have a frequency table. Okay, frequency just means how many. So this just means that I have two zeros, I have six ones, I have three twos, and I have ten threes. Okay, and if you want to work out the mean, it's just like if you had a list of numbers, you need to work out the total. So this is why I've got this extra column here. Sometimes they give it to you in the exam, sometimes they don't. If they don't, just add a little column, not a problem. Okay, and I need to work out the total if I had two zeros. So the best thing to do here is we times them. So if I had two matches, because I assume this is goals, so if I had two matches where I scored no goals, how many goals is that in total? Well, it's zero. Zero times two is zero. If I had six one goals, how many goals am I going to have in total? Well, I times them, so one times six is six. And if three times I had two goals, again we times them, so if I had two goals three times, another way to think about it, I'm going to have six goals in total. And then finally, if I have three goals ten times, how many goals am I going to have? Well, we just times them together, and we have 30. Okay, so it's as simple as that. But that's not the overall total, that's just the total of each row. So what you then need to do to find the mean is add up all of the little uh, individual totals. So 6 add 6 add 30 will give us 42. So overall, in total, I have 42 goals. So that's my total, and I'm going to write that bit there ready. And just like with the mean um, from a list of numbers, you then have to divide by how many there are. And this is where people go wrong. They go, oh, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm going to divide by 4. That's not what you need to do. Okay, the frequency is how many. So what you need to do is get a total of how many there are. So 2 add 6, add 3, add 10 gives you 21. Okay, so 42 goals were scored in total by playing 21 games. So that's how many there are. So that's what I'm going to divide by. And then 42 divided by 21 will obviously give me 2. So the mean number of goals is Two. Just a quick heads up, if you do this wrong, sometimes it's really easy to spot. If you get a number that's bigger than this number here, so if you said the mean was four, five, six, seven, or anything bigger than that, you know it must be wrong because the mean must be between these values here, between zero and three. If you get anything outside of that, it's obviously wrong. Okay, so just a little check there. Sometimes I have seen answers in the past where people have written something that's completely unrealistic and easy to spot. So just a heads up with that one. Okay. The mode, just like before, is the most common. Okay, which one occurs the most? Well, frequency, as we've said, is how many. So we're just looking for the highest frequency, which in this case is 10. 10 is the highest frequency, so this one occurred the most mistake people make, they put 10. No. This says that there are 10, that says that's how many goals, how many three goals were scored. So 10 occurs the most. So the actual mode here is three. Okay, because that says there are 10 threes. Okay, so three is the mode there. That one occurs the most. And the range, again, people will use this column or maybe even use this column. But we're looking at this one here, the goals. What was the maximum? What was the biggest number of goals? Well, it was three. And we need to take away the smallest, which is zero. So three take away zero is three. It is as simple as that. Okay, and the format for this is always the same. You always do the total. You always divide it by the frequency to find the mean. The mode is always the one that has the highest frequency, but make sure you go over here and look at which one that is. And the range is always the biggest, take away the smallest. Okay. Ever so slightly different when dealing with grouped frequency. So when I say group frequency, I just mean that it's between 0 and 10, or 10 and 20, 20 and 30, and we don't have an actual specific number here. 
and there'd be a subtle change to the question, it will say estimate the mean. This just means have an educated guess at what the mean might be. Now they do this because we don't know there's 17 values in between 0 and 10, but we don't know what they are. There's 10 values in between 10 and 20, we don't know what they are. There's 19 values in between here, we don't know what they are, and 14 in here, we don't know what they are. What they are. Okay, so I don't know what to times these by to get a total. But we only want an estimate. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, if I've got between 0 and 10, what am I going to assume they all are to give me a good estimate? Well, I'm going to go for the midpoint. And that's what this extra column is for. Okay, I'm going to go for the midpoint in between these. So to find the midpoint, you add them up. 0 add 10, half it, 5. Okay, 10 add 20, 30, half it, 15. 20 add 30 is 50, half it, 25. And then 30 plus 40 is 70, half it, you get 35. So I'm going to assume, okay, because it's only an estimate, I'm going to assume that all 17 values are 5. And I'm going to assume all 10 values are 15. I'm going to assume all 19 values are 25. And lastly, I'm going to assume all these 14 values are 35. And then I treat it exactly the same as I did here. I multiply these together to work out the total. Okay, so if I do 17 times 5, that gets me 85. 10 times 15 is 150. Uh, 19 times 25 is 475. And then lastly, 14 times 35 is 490. These are likely to be on a calculator paper, otherwise you'd be there for a little while working some of those out. And again, just like over here, you need the overall total. And if you add those all up, you have 1,200. And you just divide it by the total frequency, not the midpoint, not the class size, the total frequency. And in this case, when you add up 17, 10, 19, and 14, you have 60. And then it's the same process. The total, 1,200, divided by how many there are, divided by 60, and then obviously you get the answer there of 20. And 20 is in between here. The biggest value, oh, sorry, biggest value is 40, smallest value is zero. So 20 is in the middle there somewhere. So yeah, that makes sense for a mean. Okay, and that's how you work out an estimate for the mean from a group frequency. Good news is the mode, in this case, I've used the word modal. They sometimes use this, sometimes confuses people. Mode and modal just mean the same thing, so don't get confused. So we're looking for which one occurs the most. Exactly the same process. Look at frequency. Which one has the highest frequency? Well, 19 is the highest number here. That's the highest frequency. So it means that the modal class is this one here, 20 to 30. Okay, so it's exactly the same process for the mode which one has the highest frequency, in other words, which one occurred the most. Now the range is slightly different and there have been exam questions on this where they give you a load of true or false questions and you have to work out which ones are true and false. With this, we're looking at the range. It's always the biggest value, take away the smallest, but we have a range of different values. So in other words, you will have a maximum range and you will have a minimum range. Okay, now if you want to work out what the absolute maximum, the biggest range you possibly can have, we look for the biggest number and we look for the smallest number. So the biggest number people will think is 40. Be careful, look at the inequality sign, it's saying it's less than 40. Okay, if it's got the little line underneath it like these ones do, that means it includes it, it's equal to this number. This doesn't have it. So actually the biggest number we could have in this particular case would be 39. And what is the smallest number? Well, zero, and I can include the zero because it's got that little um, equal bit there, the little line underneath the inequality sign, that means equal to. So I do 39, take away zero, because that's the biggest value, take away the smallest value that I can have, which of course is 39. So that's the maximum range that I can have. To work out the minimum range, I want the smallest number in this group, and I want the biggest number in this group. So the smallest number that I could have here is 30, because I can include it, because it's got that little line there, means equal to. 
so that's 30 and the biggest number from this one again just like over here I can't have 10 because it's not equal to 10 it's less than 10 so the next number there would be 9 so 30 from here take away the 9 from there that leaves me with 21 okay so the range for this table here the maximum it can be is 39 the minimum it can be is 21 okay so that's how you work out the mean mode and range from a table definitely check out the other video of how to do a uh, median from a table so say it's slightly more complicated but check out that video as well so you've got all four ready to rock for the next test that you may have thanks for watching guys cheers